Welcome to Standard Time. The most problematic drinkers are men uh, in, in most European societies. Pretty much connected to different kinds of gender roles and stereotypes about how men and women should behave. And, uh, you know, alcohol is a social lubricant. Love has been used to form a nation. Love has been used to form a religious practice as a doctrine. Uh, love has formed uh, to have set rules and regulations. So before 25, um, younger adults, children as well, they tend to idealize an older age. They wish for autonomy, for freedom, for everything like that. And then in the mid-20s, this actually starts to change and people wish to be younger again. They wish for, for innocence maybe, for youth, um, for not being responsible so much. Let's talk about sex education. You mean the series? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> If we could remove even a fraction of the stigma that still surrounds sexual health and STIs, I think everybody's lives would be better. Prevention is so much cheaper than having to manage late stage complications and cure. I believe that the right to public toilets is the same as the right to education or the right to healthcare. With the water flush toilets, all our waste whether it's poop, it goes out of sight, out of mind. You know, how far is your toilet from your kitchen? When I see homeless people on the street, I really can't imagine how you can survive like that. We want to help them integrate in the society. Just because you say that everyone has to have a home to live, that doesn't have to mean that it is free. So you want oligarchs to pay more? Yeah. Okay. I would just really decommodify housing completely. I don't think that our relationships are cut when people die. I think they are just, you need to rebuild them. You need to create a new framework for this relationship you have with this person who passed away. Hopefully the people facing their deaths, uh, they, they give us a hint uh, what they want. For my deaths, I want to be prepared. The, what I usually tell parents is just to start talking about it because you will be very bad at it f at first. We have a food chain and whatever you introduce that's harmful will eventually reach us. It's, it's not possible to, to live as farmer, as a small farmer. The next generation isn't connected to, to nature anymore. I think it's, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a madness that we allow insecticides and pesticides to be used in Europe. And that this is our experience, that you have to fight for a lot of things that make your life possible. For example, a wheelchair is really a part of my, my day, of my life. If I can sit in there for 18 hours maybe, or if I get pain after two hours, it makes a difference. Yeah. But that you need uh, personal assistance mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. And I think politicians need a lot of personal assistance <laughs> uh, yeah. in order to get uh, to get uh, in emotional or rational touch with the with the real people. Would you consider like a political career in any field? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs>